So the last two videos was uh, basically uh, making sure that the Wemo is working and uh, setting the keys for Eliza Media Center and making sure it works with that. Now we're going to make a little convenience of connecting our Wemo to the computer. Um, we're going to make a launcher and what the launcher does is uh, um, actually make it faster so you don't have to type in the commands in the terminal every time to use our Wemote as a uh, controller for Eliza Media Center. So what we're going to do is uh, either you can use your, your menus, you can add to menus if you like, right, but uh, you can add in here if you like, like new, add a new item or whatever. But uh, I like to add it to uh, the panel up top here, right? So in the panel up top here, just right click on it and add to panel. And on the, what you want to do is a uh, custom application launcher. Okay, so click on that and click add. And here we have, um, uh, I, I guess, give it a good an, an icon. So let me give it an icon. Uh, the eyes looks okay, right? So that's that. Now um, give it a name. We'll call this uh, just We Mote. That's it, right? Now for the command, it's actually the same command that we used last time in the t the terminal, right? Um, sudo wm input dash w dash c, and we point it to the file. Okay, the the where our keys are. So wm input eliza, which is the same file that we use um, from here, right? Eliza input, right? So it depends where you put it, and just set it to the right path. But basically, in there is just all your keys that you mapped it with uh, Eliza Media Center with your Wiimote. So that is the file that we point it to, and you have to make sure it's sudo. Uh, GK sudo does not work because uh, we have to run this within the terminal. So the type you want to change it to uh, run application in terminal. So that's what we're gonna do. And basically, that is it. We click OK right here. And now we have our icon up top here, right? So uh, whenever we connect now, all you gotta do is uh, press that once, and now just press. Uh, it'll tell you to use um, type in your password, or whatever. And then after you type your password, it says push one and two button on your Wii and, and like last time, we uh, wait for a confirmation that uh, the Wii is ready, right? And it is ready right here. Now, if you close this off, uh, it will turn off the, the Wiimote and disconnect the Wiimote. So what I like to do is uh, get this out of the way so it doesn't go to my dock or anything. Right? You know, the terminal here. So what I like to do is uh, use the All Trade program. Uh, hopefully you guys know what that is. So just go in your uh, Add and Remove to get that. So we're going to use All Trade and uh, we're going to dock it to uh, up here. Right? So it's out of the way. It's not on your dock down here. Right? So um, that is how um, makes it more convenient to uh, connect your remote. Uh, you don't have to type in your terminal anymore. Now, if you want to uh, disconnect, you can always turn it off. But if it's still on or whatever, you can use a uh, terminal and you can go. Um, let me see. Um, GK sudo kill all wm input or just put sudo kill all input the same thing and this will um, disconnect the Wiimote from the computer um, so that is it for this one and uh, this should be work nicely with uh, your Eliza Media Center now uh, I'm hopefully gonna enjoy it because uh, the last time that it worked was uh, never okay I used another program to uh, use my Eliza Media Center last time but this time it works so hopefully I remember it in the future with this uh, video